Hello learners, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Myself Simran from Team Cloudy ML and today I will be guiding you all through an interview question asked by the IBM company. Today's question is based on SQL. So let's go ahead with the problem statement. Here is a problem statement which says, write SQL query to find the third largest or highest salary from a table without using the top or limit keyword. As we all know, we use the limit or top keywords to find out certain, uh, certain numbers or certain values up to which we want the values or we need to set, set a limit to get only required values. So uh, our aim is to find out the third highest salary from this table without using the top or limit keyword, okay? So let's begin with the database creation. This is the database creation and connection. Also, we have created a table employee salary, which will have employee ID, project, salary, and variable. Also, I've inserted certain values into this table. Four values are inserted, out of which 8,000, 10,000, 12,000, and 5,000 are the salaries, okay? So we have the salaries as 8,000, 10,000, 12,000 and 5,000. So as we can see, the third highest value is 8,000. So we already know what answer we should get. Okay, we should get the value 8,000. So let's begin with the execution of the query. First initialize SQL, I type the entire query and then we'll uh, make you understand the logic of the query. Select max salary as, give the alias name as third highest salary. Okay, from the table name, which is employee, where salary is less than, Select max salary from employee salary where salary not in. So as you can see, we are using next nested queries for solving this problem from employee salary. Okay, now run this query and check what the output is. So as you can see, 8000 is the output which is correct, okay, because 8000 is the third highest salary. So now let's look into the logic of this query. What I've done is I've used two inner queries and a single outer query because we need to find third highest salary. If we had to find fourth highest salary, we would be using three outer, three inner queries and one outer queries. Similarly, for two second highest salary, we would be using one inner query and one outer query. So let's understand its logic. For understanding the logic, we will uh, execute these inner queries separately. Okay, so let's see what the first, the most inside query says or what result it gives us. Select max salary from employee salary. This will simply return the highest value of the salary. Highest value in our case is 12,000. This is the maximum value. Okay, this is the maximum salary. So the inner query, the most inner query will return the value of 12,000. Keep this in mind. Okay, it will return the value of the highest salary. Next, consider the second inner query. Okay. This is the second inner query. Let's see what this returns us. Execute this. And as you can see, it returns 10,000. How come this returns 10,000? So, this inside query, the most inner query, will give the value as 12,000. Also, the second inner query also extracts the maximum salary but it should not be present in this inner query. 
So first year select max query will also return 12,000, but 12,000 is also present in this inside query. So for this reason, it will skip the 12,000 value and will go to the next highest query, or the next highest salary, which is 10,000. So it will select 10,000 because it is not present in this inner query. And it will skip 12,000 because it is present in this inner query result. Okay. So the second inner query will return the value as 10,000. So, and finally, when we have select max salary from employee salary, where salary is less than this inner query values, why we have used less than and not not in. In this case, you will be saying that we have used not in. But why have we used less than over here? Let's try uh, applying not in in the next case as well. Okay, so let's try uh, replacing this with, with not in. And let's check what the result is. So as you can see, the result is 12,000, which is correct, which is wrong, exactly wrong, uh, because our answer should be 8,000. But in this we are getting the value as 12,000. For this reason, we have used less than in place of not in, and by using less than, we will get the value as 8,000. Why is this so? Because it will compare the result with this inner result, and it will give the value as such. Because if this select max salary always returns 12,000, but 12,000 is not less than or not present in this out of in, in this inner query because the result of this inner query is 10,000 and 12,000 is not in 10,000 okay so uh, this is the reason the the keyword 10 or the keyword the operator not in it will not work in this case that is why you need to uh, use the less than operator because 8,000 is less than 10,000. So it will return the correct answer as 8,000. By using not in, you will get the result 12,000 because 12,000 is not present in 10,000. Okay, so this is the final query. We have executed this query using nested uh, statements, nested queries, and the number of these nested queries depends on the highest salary that you need to find. We, need, we needed to find the third highest salary. This is the reason we have used one outer query and two inner queries. Your number of inner queries will change depending upon the highest salary that you want to find. Okay. I hope you have understood this query. You've understood this solution and how to perform it using uh, SQL. Well, also, CloudyML uh, provides a combo course for data science in which you can learn data science from beginner to advanced level and it, it provides various uh, topics. It covers various topics like Python, SQL for data science, machine learning, deep learning, etc. And the features of this course is it is a completely hands-on assignment course. And, you know, you have, we have live course mentorship on Skype, one-to-one -one Skype live course mentorship and also course completion certificates. So do check out this course. The link for this course is there in the description. And if you like today's video, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to our channel. We will be providing more amazing content like this. So thank you so much. We will meet again. Thank you.